the hardest part about multifamily is after closing. Uh huh. There's more people kind of focus on how to buy it, but not many people talk about how to operate it, and that's where the money is being made, right? Everything up to closing, it's all just a number on a paper. Nobody ever budgeted a pandemic. What what did we have? Thirteen percent unemployment back in April time frame. I mean, oh eight, oh nine, only up to I think nine percent at the highest point. We're thirteen percent, and now we're back down, right? Eviction moratorium. Lender says no, you cannot evict. CDC for for crying out loud, saying you cannot evict. Anything that's basically never under a condition that you will never underwrite. It's here. It's a reality. Yeah. So then, how do you navigate and still make that return? It's the power of the GP and the strength of the property management company, and that's why COVID nineteen, as Judy kind of talked about, we were doing once a week call before COVID. When COVID hits, we're doing twice a week calls, and I do on site visit. I used to visit once a month, and now I visit once every two weeks, depending on. You know the the health conditions, so on and so forth, right?、Mm. And what I do, and and the, here's here's a major takeaway: when you start getting yourself into the operation of things, we started going. I started going once every two weeks, once announced, once surprise visit, right? And you want to do that if you really want to watch over your property management company, because the reason I do a schedule announced visit is because last time. I went to the property and I said, "Hey, here's the punch list. You got to get it fixed, right? You tell me how many days it will take you to fix it." That's kind of my proper project management one on one. You never push your employee or your task doer on the timeline that you wanted. You ask them, "Hey, how much time will it take you?" So that they are committed themselves. So I've always asked, you know, here are the four things I need you to get done. How long would it take you to do it? And then I say, "Okay, great. Four days." My next schedule visit is four days.、Hmm. I will expect you to finish all four of them, because you said it. You will get it done, right? And then I will do, and I will come back during the schedule visit, and then I'll quickly come after a surprise visit, because you kind of want to catch them in the act and see: Are you just really looking busy when I'm there, or are you busy realistically, right? And then when you do on site, make sure you watch in the morning and watch things at night. Right. The purpose of watching in the morning is because you you want to see who's got a job, because the car if your parking lot still full, that means a lot of people don't have a job. Except pandemic era, right? Yeah. So you want to watch who's at work. I like to see an empty parking lot as much as possible in the morning because people should be out working. And then you want to see who's coming home at night, right? Who are bringing their friends? Who's having party late at night? When the office is closed, is everybody having their barbecue pit outside and drinking and jumping in the pool and so on and so forth, right? So you kind of want to see, you know, who's the troublemaker of, the, of your tenant base.